friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I shopped at two stores this week and I have all of the points included in today's haul. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos a week. Don't forget to check the description box out down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Cannot recommend this enough, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to both Sprouts and Walmart. I picked up quite a few fun things for our little Halloween get together on Sunday with my in-laws and then some groceries for the week. I have some great recipes coming your way in meal prep. So stay tuned after the grocery haul for what you'll see Monday in meal prep. I decided to pick up some Moondrop grapes. I don't think I've ever had these, and I see, I've i heard that they are really, really good. And they were like $1.98 a pound at Sprout, so I think this whole bag was just a couple dollars. And I'm really excited to try them, just for something a little bit different. You guys know I really gravitate towards berries, so this will be something different for the week. I am making stuffed mushrooms for our Halloween get-together, and this huge pack of mushrooms was only $6.99. These are organic, so I thought that was actually a really good deal, so I picked those up. Sprout is already getting all their fun holiday stuff. They've actually gotten rid of most of the pumpkin and bringing out Christmas already. So I picked up the Choco Love Dark Chocolate Candy Cane Chocolate Bar. I thought this would be such a good sweet treat and you guys know how much I love peppermint anything. Like I mentioned in my What I Eat in a Day on Wednesday, I'll link that video if you missed it. I've been obsessed with protein pudding and I thought this would be so good shaved on top of protein pudding. Yes, please. So I picked that up. They had quite a few different flavors. So I'll be trying a lot of their holiday stuff as we get closer to Christmas. No surprise, my shredded chicken so that I can make my mashed potato, gravy, veggie, copycat KFC bowl. I had my favorite cottage cheese on sale for $3.99, which is the same price as fries. So I grabbed two of those because I've been out of cottage cheese and I have really missed it. I grabbed another one of the Vermont Uncured Pepperoni Meat Sticks. I actually really like these and I thought that this would be a nice thing to just throw in my purse so I have a protein-filled, healthy snack on hand. I did grab a pumpkin because Troy and I were going to go to the pumpkin pumpkin patch in Tucson, but it's almost an hour one-way drive and we have just been so busy and with my injury at boot camp, having a cold, we just didn't make it. So the pumpkins were two for five at Sprout, so I grabbed one. I want to put it on my front porch for Halloween along and keep it there throughout Thanksgiving. So we won't be carving it and I thought he was a pretty cute pumpkin for only $5. They had their True Whip on sale, two for six, really good deal. So I picked that up. I like to add whip topping to my protein pudding. And then I stocked up on spices. I went through my spice cabinet, got rid of everything expired and everything I was out of. So I did quite a big spice restock starting with Time, all of the Sprouts brand organic spices are $3.99, so that's a really good deal. And then I was also completely out of garlic powder, brown ginger, which I actually use a lot. And then I'm also completely out of Italian seasoning. And then of course, lots of produce from Sprouts. I love Sprouts for produce. So I got one huge organic sweet potato for a dinner recipe. I needed parsley for a couple of recipes, a big yummy red bell pepper, two gala apples, that is for my meal prep, a couple of tomatoes for one of the Halloween inspired dishes for Sunday. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you come follow me because I'll be posting my Halloween charcuterie board and all of the fun Halloween stuff I'm making for Sunday. So definitely come follow me on Instagram. A big bag of avocados for avocados and for guacamole. This huge bag of Taylor Farms Brussels sprouts was manager special 99 cents. I love Brussels sprouts, so I had to grab those. I am either going to shave them or cook them up and have them as a veggie. And then I also needed quite a bit of green onions for a few recipes as well as for Halloween dinner. So 
moving into Walmart, they had this cute little striped tiger three count pumpkins for $1.98. These were $4 a piece at Sprout. So I'm glad I didn't buy them there and I waited until I went to Walmart. And again, three of them for $1.98. I want to put them next to my big pumpkin on my porch and then I like to have them for decoration for the holidays. I'm going to be making a crock pot beef stew. You guys will be seeing this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. So I grabbed some stew meat for that. For Halloween, for the Halloween dinner, I needed squeezy sour cream to make a spider web design on this kind of seven layer dip that I'm making. Again, I'll post everything on my Instagram. So I picked up the squirty daisy sour cream. Some more of the Dean's French onion dip for Troy. He still has quite a few of his Fritos left and he bought the Lay's in the jar French onion dip. It is not very good. Neither one of us really liked it. So I grabbed this for him so that he could finish up those chips. I did grab another one of my no sugar added peppermint mocha coffee creamers. Somebody said you could throw this in the freezer. I know it says specifically on the container not to freeze, but I've done it before and it keeps it just fine. It thaws out just fine. So I grabbed another one. I'm gonna throw it in my freezer because this is my all time favorite coffee creamer. I needed some cheese tortellini for a dinner recipe this next week. And then this is new to me. I am making muffins in my meal prep and they called for whole wheat flour. So I was going to buy just your traditional whole wheat flour and then I saw this. This is the Kodiak Protein Packed Power Flour and it says whole grain. So I thought this would be a great substitution for just processed wheat flour. It's the exact same nutritional information as far as calories go is regular flour, but you're getting 10 grams of protein. So if I like this, this may just substitute flour in all of my recipes. So stay tuned for Monday's meal prep as I'll be making those muffins. We'll try it out, see what we think. A can of fat-free refried beans. This is for the seven layer dip for Halloween. And then I also needed quite a bit of large black olives for that same recipe. So I picked up two cans, some organic tomato sauce. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. We are just about out of our light shredded cheese that I grabbed from Trader Joe's last week. So I grabbed another bag at Walmart. I'm going to be making some fun Halloween cupcakes for Sunday. So I wanted the Halloween Funfetti cake mix until I realized it was chocolate and Troy doesn't like chocolate. So I wanted him to be able to have dessert too. So I grabbed the spice cake mix to make cupcakes out of. And then I decided to get the whipped cream cheese frosting, then I can throw this in a piping bag and make a pretty design on top of my cupcakes. If you struggle with the really thick frosting and spreading it out, get the whipped. It tastes just the same, but it's just a lot easier to spread and a lot easier to manage. I also grabbed some more of the Gilbert's Caprese sausages. These are my favorite. I've tried all the flavors that Walmart carries over the last couple of months, and I have to say this one is my favorite. It has basil, mozzarella, and sun-dried tomato, 130 calories per link, and a whopping 13 grams of protein, and I love these for breakfast and for lunches. Some Jimmy Dean sausage for the stuffed mushrooms for Halloween. And then on Friday, the final Friday of the month, apparently at boot camp, we do a 5K, whether we run it, walk it, run and walk it, whatever we wanna do, we all do a 5K around the lake in our community. And then afterwards we have a healthy snack. So I grabbed some roasted red pepper hummus and then I'm going to cut up my non rounds that I have left over into little wedges so that we can have non bread and hummus. So she said healthy snack. So that's what I thought would be a good option. And I'm really excited to do a 5K, my first one in I don't know how long, on a Friday at 5 a.m. Some light butter, we are just about out. So I picked up another big tub. I needed some salsa for the seven layer dip for Halloween. And I need this for a dinner recipe this next week. Sprouts didn't have chives available. So I grabbed them at Walmart. These are just some freeze dried chives. Some frozen corn. This is for my lunch meal prep. And last Last but not least, a tube of tomato paste. I find that it's a lot less wasteful to buy it in a tube. It's more expensive, but it, you don't have to throw it away once you open the can. So I picked up a tube of tomato paste. I also grabbed a case of Coors Light for Troy. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's on my dinner menu and what you'll see Monday in meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday, out to dinner as always. Sunday is our new 
is our Halloween dinner with my in-laws. Monday, I'm actually making slow cooker beef stew. I'm so excited for this. Stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday is cheesy tortellini sausage bake, another recipe I can't wait to make. We'll do a burger night on Thursday, and then Friday we always eat up any leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I am making whole wheat apple muffins. I'm going to be using that Kodiak cake protein flour. Lunch is turkey burrito bowls. Super excited for this. And then for dessert, I'm making chewy pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Also very excited. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for today's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week. And like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see my Halloween inspired meal coming out on Sunday with my in-laws. And if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a future grocery haul or video in general. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Happy Saturday, friends. Happy Halloween weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.